Welcome to Worldy Global. This video is about the Dokdo class amphibious assault ship. Before enjoying this video, please give us a like and a subscription. The Dokdo class amphibious assault ship is a class of landing platform helicopter, LPH. Amphibious assault ships operated by the Republic of Korea Navy, designed and built by Hanjin Heavy Industries. The amphibious landing ships were meant to enhance South Korea's amphibious operation capability, both in terms of assault and military operations other than war. The ROC Navy required a versatile landing ship with amphibious capabilities in its program to build a blue water navy. In the end, Hanjin's Dokdo design was chosen to fulfill this need. The Solgi class LCAC also built by HHIC, was chosen as the landing craft air cushion, LCAC, to operate from the ship. The LPX is an amphibious warfare ship which includes a well deck to accommodate amphibious assault vehicles and two LCAC, the first of which, LSF-631, was acquired in April 2007. The ship is 199 meters, 652 feet 11 inches, long, 31 meters 101 feet 8 inches, wide, with the 14,000 ton, empty, or 18,000 ton, full, displacement and was built incorporating stealth technologies. It has been said to be one of the most advanced vessels in the Asia Pacific. As a high-speed amphibious ship, the LPX was based on the concept of over-the-horizon assault. As the name indicates, the over-the-horizon assault comprises a military operation in which an amphibious landing is conducted with high-speed air-cushioned vehicles and helicopters from beyond the horizon, where they cannot be easily detected or attacked by the enemy. The conventional landing ship tank has to approach the coastline for landing. At the risk of being fired upon by the enemy, the LPX can carry 720 marines plus 300 crew members, 10 tanks, 10 trucks, 7 AAVs, 3 field artillery pieces, and 2 LCAC hovercraft capable of landing on enemy shores doing 40 knots. 74 kilometers per hour, 46 miles per hour, a mix that enables it to launch troop landings from both sea and air. She can also carry 10 helicopters when there are no ground vehicles on her hangar deck. The flight surface is also sprayed with urethane, which can support VTOL jets, like Harriers. South Korea is considering the purchase of F-35B fighters to operate from its Dokdo class ships currently. The LPX operates mainly UH-1H and UH-60P. However, both of these are designed for land-based operations and lack abilities for shipborne operations such as protection against damage from salty breezes, making them difficult to operate on board continuously the come amphibious. The C-based amphibious variant of the Kaiserian is now under development. Production is planned to commence in late 2015 with some 40 helicopters planned. Self-defense armament includes the RIM-116 rolling airframe missile system. The goalkeeper close-in weapon system was purchased in January 2003 from Thales at a preset price of 13 billion won. Around 15 million dollars. The second ship of the class, Milrado, was built with some changes compared to Dokdo. The flight deck is adapted to accommodate two V-22 Ospreys, while Dokdo was able to only carry one. In place of the Thales Smart L multi beam radar and MW08 surveillance radar. Mirado uses the Elta Systems ELM 2248 MF style multifunction surveillance radar and Lignex 1 SPS 550 K3D air and surface surveillance radar. It also has a different weapons suite than the 30mm goalkeeper and RAM. 
Instead using 220mm phalanx he wasn't having a KVLS at the rear of the superstructure for the locally developed case arm. Dogdo is similar in size to the light aircraft carriers derived from the sea control ship, such as the Spanish Navy's former aircraft carrier Principe de Asturias and the Royal Thai Navy's Chakri Narubat. As always please give us a like and a subscription.